what city it's in, but it is called Curtis Castle. Wow, guys. This is amazing. Cool. Amazing. So pretty. Wow. Here we are, guys. Yeah. Alex's first game. Yes, yeah, super excited. Hopefully, it's going to be warm. Yay! Look at that. You. Wow. So pretty. Guys, they gave me this jacket. A lot of people here very same jacket. Like a lot of guys walking around in the same jacket. It's a jacket the players wear. Nothing but the best. Yeah, we're walking downstairs to get me coffee. <laughs> yep. Because I'm crushing. I'm sitting in a club level, but I yeah. go where the normal people sit. Yeah, just look around, get some coffee. Kind of chilly here, nothing looking. <laughs> yep. Let's go over here now, Phil. Wow. That's cool. So, this is the guy that's cool. Yeah. Ready? Okay, time. I'm wearing his jersey. Let's see. No, fine. Yeah, we got two kids coffee. Oh, yeah. They're wearing his jersey. <laughs> so we're getting crazy crab sandwich right now. I guess it's supposed to be really good. And it was added on a screen. So we will see. We will see, right? We will see. It's supposed to be really good. Hey, do it for the gram! <laughs> So you have to tell us how it is. Yep. Light, crunchy, crispy, sourdough, buttery, <laughs> flaky, fresh crab. With a slice of tomato. Yeah, they was promoting it on that. <laughs> Trying to make money. It's a sandwich. That's all you got? No, it's good. It's good. Yeah. I don't know if I would like buy it here. Yeah, it's good. These seats the best. The best seats. <laughs> When we went to get a coffee, it was so windy and cold. There, he is like 20 degrees warmer, no wind, and I really don't need a jacket here. Giants won. Super happy, super excited for Alex's first game. Yes. And it's so cool. We parked literally almost right under the Bay Bridge. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Nice lights. So pretty. Yes. Oh, so cool. Time to go to hotel, relax, and sleep. sleep. <laughs> yes. Before we pack and head out in the morning. Check it out. Yes, we are now way back to LA. We had breakfast, 
we stopped at Jack in the Box. We got more egg rolls. <laughs> yes, so Jack in the Box coffee, they have three different flavors. We fell in love with the vanilla flavor, as you saw in the last vlog. And so now we tried the caramel and the mocha. She got the caramel. Mm -hmm. It was way too sweet. It is very sweet. But in it's possibly the way she made it. Just mm -hmm. added more caramel into it. Yeah, of the mix. I got the mocha. It's really good. Uh, I'm usually a mocha guy, but I don't know. The vanilla just, uh, it hits different. Yeah, I like vanilla too. So we ordered some new King Egg Roll for the road to yes. take home. And now we are on our way to Central California. I forget what city it's in, but it is called Hearst Castle. If you've ever heard of it, it's really, really cool. Um, they have a swimming pool that they're famous, known for. They have... It's built with 14 karat gold tiles. Mm. And so the owner is very eccentric. He's an art collector. He built this giant mansion on top of this hill. And so he uh, only invited very select few, mostly celebrities, to swim in this pool. But you can barely even get like close to it because it was like a super, super exclusive swimming pool to swim in. So we're going to take you guys around the tour with us. I got my new pin at the game last night. Yes. Alex picked it out. And it's my new favorite hat. Yep. Excited. Yeah. Keep you updated, guys. Amazing view over there. Oh, just rolling hills, speckled with some trees and grass, and then the cliffs to the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. It's kind of far. You might not be able to see it, but it's that blue in the far distance. That's the ocean. There's some people stopping to take pictures. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I mean, the mountains don't seem that high compared to the road, but they drop down so far. Yeah. We're like way above sea level. Mm hmm. Oh, check it out. Yeah, it just drops so far. That's like a thousand feet down. Wow. Okay, check it out, guys. Oh, look at how blue, light blue, and crystal clear that Yes, and we eight minutes away from where we're going. First castle. Yep. And this side is beautiful mountains. Couldn't ask for more. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful drive up the coast. So guys, right now outside 66 degrees. So it's kind of chilly. I was like, I didn't think I need a jacket today, but no, I yep. do. We stopped here from Santa Cruz on our last trip. Yes. At that beach, yeah. Yeah, St. Simeon Beach. Um, they're known for their driftwood. We also saw a few little crabs and sea urchins in their tide pools. So it was kind of cool to check it out. Yeah. We it's love nice. tide pools. We love the water in general. Mm -hmm. Also, we saw sign of Dao Winery. They're going to be on the ocean over here as well. Yeah, so they're making like a New ocean winery. front. Yeah tasting room mm -hmm. slash winery it didn't look like they had too many vineyards and vines there no. for the grapes but it's going to be most likely if i had to guess a new tasting room mm -hmm. with an amazing ocean view oh. crazy <laughs> they have a nice pier here too Advisory, but Auto Street. Yep. Oh, the shuttle buses? Oh. Yeah, like it's, I've been here before. Okay, it's over there on a hill, so I'm just like wondering. First Castle Tours. Yeah, so I think they're gonna be. Street. Visitor Center is over here. Well, I think it's good that we got here early because it looks like we will be shuttling there. So, 20 minutes early before our tour, fingers crossed. Yeah. Or do you think you can drive up to the castle? Yeah. 
I don't know. We're going to figure it out and we're going to let you guys know. So if you guys ever want to come out this way, one of these will know at the time. Yeah. Unlike us. Yep. Holy speed. Holy cheese. Because if it will be 2.55, we would be late for sure. <laughs> the way it's looking, it's still like up there. Visitor center. Uh, so guys, at 2.55 we have to load at gate 1 yep. on a bus yeah. and it actually was fast check-in process but you never know how many people would be here yeah. today so basically... It looked like each 10 minute slot had 50 people yeah. that they had to get so it's pretty packed and then I was talking to one guy earlier today uh, he has come twice not making reservations and they didn't get in either time so highly recommend making reservations yes uh like alex said we got to meet at 255 it is 250 right now mm -hmm. we're walking to the car to get some water yeah so we can take on the tour with us because there's a lot of walking but yeah so just try to plan to be at least 20 minutes early i guess yes i mean it worked out perfectly <laughs> yeah for us. for us but if it will be way more people we could have been late <laughs> yeah yeah all right, guys, we made it to the Welcome Center. We're gonna walk through the lobby real quick. All right, so we got a coffee shop. There's the reservation and the ticket center. And then they got a gift shop on this side. Yeah, gift shop on that side. Let's see what else we come across. Yes. Please stay seated at all times. Yeah, it was like 15 minutes right right bus. Yeah. yeah yeah which wasn't bad because there was yeah. a nice breeze you could see some animals and they made some wooden houses for the animals too yeah so we were looking for animals and it was narrated by alex trebek which is pretty cool yeah oh it's pretty house of the sun damn so you have House of the Sun because when you're on the balcony there, you get a fantastic view of the sunset. Now what looks like a bathtub is actually a child sarcophagus. Right? Right? And we're going to see. That's one about nine Roman sarcophagi that he... Check it out, this view, guys. Damn. Amazing. Walt Disney stayed uh, here. Physicist, the astronomer Edwin Hubble. We named the Hubble Telescope after him. Yeah. He was a guest up here. Um, Bob, the comedian, Bob Hope with his wife Dolores. And then maybe even some of Mr. Earth's workers for his newspapers, like his gossip columnist, Luella Parsons. So typically what he would do, he'd try to get two families to a casita. Maybe we'd have one family occupy one side and another family occupy another side of the casita. Wow, guys. This is amazing. Cool. Amazing, so pretty. Wow, look at this! It's crazy. Yeah, oh, I love the color of the water, it's like so so green. Mermaids, mm -hmm. naked mermaids. Look here, wow. Everything up here is built out of still reinforced people up here. He's got the rooms for them. Right? Now you guys, what we'll do, we'll walk along the esplanade here. Uh, this will give you a chance to see the backs of the casita. Statue. I know, okay. it's so pretty though. So take a look at why he's calling it Casa del Mar, House of the Sea. Of the you sea get a fantastic view, view. Of, this, of San Simeon Point right there. And if you guys look even oh. closely, on oh. top of that fountain... Oh, I see a boat there. You see it? There's a big giant ocean. Mm -hmm. On top of the fountain though, you see that gold statue? He's got a gold-plated statue that's known mm. as the Frog Princess. You guys are looking at her backside. These are the oldest items that we have in his art collection, folks. These are his statues of the Egyptian goddess Sekhmet. She's got the head of a lioness and the body of a woman. Check it out, it's so pretty. Get out of guys' way there, my apologies. No, it's okay. And folks, while you're taking your photos, wow. I'm just going to, again, throw some stats out there, guys. The Casa Grande is a home that definitely... Beautiful. Wow. Kind of his art collection here. Folks, we're talking about the fireplace. We're talking about his wall tapestries. We're talking about the ceiling. In a letter he writes to the Lord, he tells me, he says, I see a reason why the ranch cannot be a new center of the table here. 
directly opposite from him, that's going to be our hostess, Marion Davies. And if this was your first night here at the Little Top, you guys would consider like a guest of honor. So you've got to be seated on either side of Mr. Burroughs or on either side of Mary. We want to talk to you. We want to get to know you. But what I love about this room, because all the guests were doing would do this, and you guys were doing this when you present various districts in Siena Italy. They're going to hold in this way. No, you don't have to do that. What you would do, you would pick up the receiver, you would speak into it, and you'd say, operator, operator, connect my call, please. Yeah. All right, folks. So the common theme in this room, you can tell, is entertainment. Everything in this room is going to display a scene of entertainment. It's going to yes, it's a dark theater, cinema room, <laughs> crazy. The architecture you've been here. This is the biggest room in the house. You can see the hundred people. Check it out, guys. Wow. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. And changing room for girls and ten for guys. Wow. Oh, and that's part where they could dive from. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty, it's pretty high. Yeah. So there's It's very pretty. So guys, we have been driving for like one hour or so, right? Yep. After we left the castle. The first castle. <laughs> yes. Uh, we got shot glass. Yep. This That's is our tra trip. Yeah, trip tradition. Yes. Get at least one shot glass. Well, we are running out of room, so we'll probably do a dedicated video to our shot glasses. Yes. <laughs> and we will have to find a place where to put it. Yep. Yeah. So, what do you think about it? I think it was probably the nicest and most expensive place I've ever been inside. From the gold-plated swimming pool to the 18-room guest house, one of the guest houses. Uh, yeah, I think um, my favorite thing was the eclectic collection of art kind of from all around the world. And he would have it in the same room, so he would have fireplace from Rome and then some Italian ceiling sculptures and then some Thailand tiles. It was absolutely chaos. What was your favorite? Um, I think outside pool and inside uh, under tennis court. I think these two the best ones. Yes. And then uh, just in general uh, architecture outside of guest houses and main house. Inside of the house it was a little bit too much for me. But I can appreciate it, it just everything together and it was just a little bit too overwhelming But at the same time it was back then, you know, it was different mentality different view of Everything and just in general, you know he art. Could have very, well, very well been one of the richest people on the planet, if not the richest Yes, they, they also said that it's supposed to be still some animals left on the property um, zebras, <laughs> zebras, giraffe, and some other stuff. But didn't see any. But they still have eighty-two thousand acres. So we only went about on three, four acres. I think, yeah. Of the land, so there's about eight eighty-one thousand nine hundred and ninety-five more acres that we didn't see. So yeah. That's a lot. They also do evening tours. They said you can come back and do evening tour. <laughs> yeah, they have a bunch of different tours. There's over 150 rooms in the houses total. Um, yeah. Yeah, as you guys can see in the video footage, it's just absolutely mind-blowing the level of detail yeah. that this guy had. Not only was he importing tiles and roofs and banners, statues from all over the world he's also importing animals from all over the world yep it was absolutely crazy and all uh, famous uh, people movie stars came visited 
uh, stayed there like you could stay there for like a couple days or up yep. to two weeks that's what they told us yeah, yeah. so Charlie Chaplin would go Walt Disney uh, the guy the founder of Bank of America pretty much all of the most well-known celebrities and most powerful people on the planet would come and stay 30 different staff so mm -hmm. from cooks to cleaners to just everything you can imagine they built five houses first for the workers to stay in that were gonna build the real house yes like they built five houses so they could build the real house <laughs> and uh, I think he was trying to build it for 28 years That's well originally it was two but uh, I guess he was just very artistic and he changed his mind a lot. That's kind of the impression I got from the tour guide. So he was um, constantly changing his approach to the architecture and layout of the rooms and the vibes. Like there's a smoke room and they call it the morning room, but no one is ever there in the morning. So yes. that was just very interesting. There was a bunch of different interesting things. The biggest room in the house, as you saw, was the movie theater. Um, and he had these like crazy statues yeah. inside his movie theater that seated 100 people. And this is 1920, at the height of the depression. This yeah. guy is just building and building and building. He had ancient Egyptian statues that were over 2,000 years old. <laughs> yes. Just chilling in his courtyard. Crazy. It was just mind blowing. If you guys are ever interested, I highly, highly recommend just like seeing what animals he had there, what right. statues, what he imported from what. He even built an airport. Yeah, he, yeah. you could see, yeah. <laughs> no, definitely, you have to check it out. Especially in US, it's not a lot of places where you can see architecture and mm -hmm. this is like one of them, <laughs> you know, where you can yeah. see it. It's a big plus, you can see architecture from all around the world. So when you go to Spain, you're only going to see Spanish architecture, Greece, you're going to see Greek influence and so forth. But here, you can literally see architecture from ancient Egyptians. Yes. Mummies, uh, sarcophaguses he used to like yeah. decorate the property is absolutely bonkers. Yeah.